New York City Marathon had a humble beginning. In 1970 through 1975, the race consisted of four laps of Central Park. There were 55 finishers the first year. In 1976, in the United States bicentennial year, race founder Fred LeBeau and other officials boldly took the chance of moving the race to the streets of the city, encompassing all five boroughs. The running boom across the country was just beginning, and the timing of a high visibility marathon could not have been better. LeBeau had invited Olympic marathon champion Frank Shorter and rising star and Boston marathon champion Billy Rogers to lead the elite field. Unsure of how New Yorkers would react to the disruption of closing 300 street intersections, LeBeau and city officials were shocked that even from the first year, crowds filled the streets and embraced the race and the marathoners. On that October race day, Bill Rogers was the first to cross the finish line, followed by Frank Shorter three minutes later, then another 1,500. The five borough race had thrust the marathon into the spotlight, and suddenly, New York Roadrunners, organizers of the marathon, had a huge success on its hands, and the number of starters grew rapidly. The 1976 New York City Marathon, the event that launched road racing into the fast lane of fitness. A New York Roadrunners great moment.